Monza, set in a leafy park on the outskirts of Milan, has been the home of the Italian Grand Prix since 1950, apart from the 1980 season. It once featured steep banking, and even in its current guise, the 5.793 km track is the fastest circuit on the F1 calendar, with an average lap speed of over 240 km an hour and 80% full throttle. The start straight is very wide and over a kilometre long. The cars hit 345 km an hour before braking for the first chicane, which is taken at just 80 km an hour, with drivers using plenty of kerbs. This is one of the hardest braking zones on the F1 calendar at 5.8 G of deceleration and a prime overtaking place. Then the cars head through the flat out right hander at Curva Biasino, named after a village nearby. It's also sometimes called the Curva Grande at 300 km an hour. They reach 330 before braking for the second chicane. This is very much faster than the first chicane at 110 km an hour. The next two corners are known as the Lesmo Bends after a small community near the racetrack. The cars arrive at 265 km an hour and dab the brakes for less than a second to turn into Lesmo 1 at 165, slowing to 155 for the second, more challenging corner. Cars often run wide into the gravel on the exit. Then it's through the subtle Curva della Serraglio, named after the nearby hunting lodge of the King and it's flat out again, up to 330 km an hour, along the straight under the bridge to the Variante Ascari, named after Italy's last Formula One world champion, Alberto Ascari from the 1950s. Ascari is taken at 140 km an hour for the left-hander, then 180 for the right-hander, before 200 km an hour for the final second left-hander. The line here is all important, as it dictates speed down the back straight. Then it's flat out again for almost a kilometre towards Parabolica. Hitting 335 kilometres an hour, the drivers hit the brakes hard, but for just a second, still, it's a 5G deceleration, and then they commit the cars to the famous right-hander at 165 kilometres an hour. The Parabolica, an iconic name for an iconic corner. Then it's onto the pit straight again to begin another lap. That's 90 flat-out seconds of the fastest track in F1.